Hi everybody, uh, we'll be looking at this uh, atomic structure question, okay? So, um, hopefully you have looked through my video regarding the ionization energy, the first ionization energy. But for this question, right, they are asking us about the second ionization energy, right? So, I will teach you how to apply the first ionization energy concept into this question, okay? So, let's, same thing, always we will do a rough sketch on the ionization energy graph again okay take note okay okay so um, this is the draw. This is the graph that I've drawn. And remember, it's always the third and the sixth element, right? There's always anomaly. You fall a bit. Hopefully, you know the reason. Okay. So now let's apply to this question. So they say that uh, which element uh, have or has a second I E higher than its each of its neighboring. Uh, elements in the periodic table, right? Okay, so let's take a look at this. So for the first one, right, it's very obvious that, okay, let's say, assuming this is the first IE, uh, okay, let's try first, first IE. Okay, we always start this uh, way, uh, follow this method. Okay, so for the first one, uh, it's written there, uh, 3S2. 3S2, we know, is the second element, right? So this is option A. Okay, I'll just put it here. And then option B, 3S2, 3P1, we know is um, the third one, right? So this option B. And then option, oh, okay, it's quite nice. So option C and option D, okay? But remember, this is the first IE, but they're asking for the second ionization energy. So how to apply, how to apply or how to edit, right? Um, take a look. Now, Remember the first ionization energy of, okay, let's say you take, for example, uh, okay, we just have a random one, right? Okay, let's say uh, this one here, this element here, right? Take a look at this element here. So the, this is the first ionization energy of this element, the, the eighth element. But of course, the second ionization energy means that it has lost one electron. So the second ionization energy of this element, it's now the previous one. Do you agree? Because... Previously, there's eight electrons. Second IE means you're removing. The second electron means removing from the element with, or the ion with a seven electrons left. So the rule is very simple. Shift left. Okay? So the second IE of every element, you shift it left. Done. Right? So because of that, right, uh, we will know that, okay, let me use another color. For A, B, C, D, we shift everything left, right? So, for example, I'm analyzing the second IE now, okay? So, now, this is A, right? This is B, this is C, and this is D, okay? So, it's simple, right? Your job is just to shift left if it's the second IE. If it's third IE, you shift twice left, okay? So, now, they ask you which element is higher, right? So, has a second IE higher that is neighboring, Right, neighboring, right? So let's look at the yellow, the yellow marking. So of course, uh, second I higher than neighboring means it's higher than the left and right. And it's very obvious, you notice it's B. Okay, B is higher than A, B is also higher than C, but we must look at the second IE uh, graph. Agree? So the answer for this question is B. Okay, so simple. Be clear of your first IE graph, then you adapt to the question. Okay, so remember that. Huh? That's all. Goodbye.